Alrighty, let's look at some multiplication methods. We're going to do some multiplication, and we're going to use two methods, the partial product algorithm and the lattice method. So first up, let's do 43 times 6 with the lattice method. And the first thing we need to do is draw the lattice. So if this is what you do. Go ahead and make two boxes. And the tricky part is the diagonal bit. But you need to basically go through where the lines meet. The lines meet there and there and there. And then it's diagonal from right to left, like so. And let me give myself some more space here. OK. So now um, 43 can go here, and 6 can go here. And 3 times 6 is 18, and 4 times 6 is 24. And now you just add those up diagonally now. So adding this way, and this way, and this way. And you're going to end up with 8 in the 1's place. 1 plus 4 is 5. The 2 comes down. 258. And you know what? We forgot to do our estimate. 40 times 6 equals 240. And that's pretty close. Let's try partial products now. And I want to write it very nice and neat for partial products. And you can go 3 times 6 to start, and then you have 40 times 6, and there is your answer when you add those together. And as you can see, we've got the same answer for both, so we know we did it right, probably, and it's close enough to our estimate over here. Now for the next one, um, first let's do our estimate. We're going to round to the nearest 100, so 600. 34 rounds to 600 times 5, and our answer is going to be somewhere around 3,000, and probably more because we rounded down. And it might be off by a few hundred, but that's okay. So now for the lattice, if you have three digits by one digit, make a longer rectangle, and you're going to split it into thirds. And again, you come down diagonally through where the lines meet. And I think this one you can do on your own. Of course, you'd start 4 times 5 is 20 and go on from there. Partial products, again, nice and neat. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 30 is 150. And then you've got one more, which then you'll add, but I'm going to let you finish that on your own. Um, next, we've got two digits times two digits. So let's first make an estimate. And our estimate is going to be about 90 times 30. And of course, 9 times 3 is 27. So our answer will be somewhere near there. And now, I need a two by two box for this lattice. So I need to make it even bigger. And again, wherever two points meet or more than two points meet, this is where your lines will go through like so. So just be careful with that, but you should learn to draw these on your own diagonally to the left. And um, just a note, 1 times 9 is 9. You'd write that 0, 9 in this one. 3 times 9 is 27. That goes there. Just line it up. 1 times 8 would go in here, and that would be like this. And then 3 times 8, like so. And now we're adding diagonally like this. So your ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, and you just bring down the nine 
here we have 8 plus 7 is 15. So the 5 goes there. The 1 comes up here. And the rest of that you can do on your own. 1 plus 2 plus 4 goes here. The 2 comes down, and there's your answer. And with partial products, again, the key here is to be very neat with your rows. And I'm going to start with this 1. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 80 is 80. And next, I will do this 3. But it's not a 3. It is 30. 30 times 9 is 270. 30 times 80 is 2,400. And now you can add those up, and you'll have your final answer. And the next one, I think if you just do it the same way, with the same style lattice, and same style partial products, you should be okay. Um, the estimate is going to be 80 times, well, if you can do 80 times 25, try that. Or if you have to do 80 times 30, that's okay, but that would be more accurate. And then, yeah, just draw your lattice and go for it. And that's the end of this multiplication practice. Thank you.